everyone, this is Someday, Sometime, Somewhere. We're going to talk a little bit about a douchebag with no education. That's right, exiting Governor Ted Strickland apparently um, imposed an emergency executive order to ban all exotic pet ownership in the state of Ohio. Um, on his list of exotic pets includes boas, so um, it will be illegal for any private resident, or it is, I'm sorry, illegal for any private resident to purchase, um, sell, breed, import, export boas in the state of Ohio. If you already had your boa, of course, you have time to register it with the Department of Natural Resources there. This is apparently a 90-day emergency ordinance but the incoming governor appears to stand behind it and you know I'd hate to sound biased but the Humane Society is mentioned several times in this article go figure so um, anyway links down there go read it um, yep like we said uh, battles won but the war is not over well it looks like it's uh, continuing a little bit sooner than we thought and apparently a pretty good story real interesting story out of uh, the state of Florida go figure um, an orange alligator and this woman apparently saw this orange alligator out her window and she took a picture as you can see there to to prove it she contacted a biologist who believes the alligator may have been kind of halfway between albino and normal not really sure but um, anyway yeah orange alligator pretty sweet um, Cool. And we have another little story next about another lizard in food. What is it with the lizards in food? Uh, this, well, actually we're in 2011 now, so that was the rest of them were last year. But anyway, lizard in food. Um, apparently, a a restaurant had a bottle of sauce and poured it out, and it had a what they believe was a house lizard inside it. So, um, you know, I, obviously since last year, uh, canning um, procedures are not any better than they ever have been really so uh, yeah and that is all the news we have for today two things I want to touch on really quick uh, you guys everybody knows that the the daily reptile news is not daily anymore and we've been uh, really close to the chopping block a few times and just barely made it through and it's not safe yet but uh, you know we're gonna I'm trying to go to to once a week to keep that up but I think the good news is by going to once a week it's gonna give a lot more time to plan things out it's gonna be the show's gonna be longer we're gonna have a lot of new segments and coming this next Friday I think will be the first real one and I'm very happy to announce that the the very first segment of Chicks and Snakes is going to be next Friday, so you're going to want to come back and check that out, I think. Uh, number two, a lot of people have been, I, I, I receive a lot of email and, and messages from people that want to know what they can do to contribute to, uh, to help uh, the news, uh, daily reptile news, whatever I'm doing here, be more successful. And the best answer to that is just spread the word. Spread the word. Send it to everybody you have. Um, send the link out there for the the YouTube channel as well as the website, and um, just help get the word out. I think that is the absolute best way. Uh, you know, we want to promote community involvement in everything. Uh, just just get the word out there. Get some eyeballs looking, and that. Is probably about the best thing you can do but um anyway yep yeah, that's all your news for today if you'd like to read any more of these stories those links are right down below here in the description and as always if you're still watching my name is Jason White now you know what's going on in the reptile world be good to each other